Today we're making a basic pantry shelf. So let me show you the space that we're putting it in and the one that we're replacing. So this is our food shelf now. This is honestly, just, it's been a very good shelf, but we've got this interesting space where we have this step down and we really could utilize more of that because it's really just wasted space. And so we're gonna make this shelf to come out a little further, but go over basically to the light switch and cover this entire area. So let's get busy. Now somebody had some leftover one by fours from a different project that were really kind of too short to get in anything else. And so we're utilizing these today for the majority of the shelf. It's gonna be a little bit rustic, you know, uh, so, some of these have actual brad nails in them and things we'll have to take out, but it saves some money because wood's pretty expensive and there's no point in this going to waste. And so we're taking these, uh, utilizing them, cutting them down to uh, make our shelf width. And so we've got a lot of them. We're probably even gonna have some left once it's done. We're also using some two by fours and some one by sixes and some longer one by fours. Overall, we're gonna have about $125 in the shelf uh, and that's given that somebody gave us these one by four so it would definitely would have been more expensive but 125 dollars for a solid wood shelf a pretty good deal so we're using these to make our shelves and so our shelves are going to look like this we've already got these made over here as you can see uh, we've got a stack that's six we're on our seventh one right now and normally obviously we would rather use a two by four running across here because this is kind of a, what's going to keep our shelf supported as it goes across to the sides. But considering we had so many one befores, we just doubled up our one befores and run them across. And it's okay because on the front of our shelf when we're done, we're gonna finish it up and make it look nice and neat. So you can't see any cracks or screw holes or anything like that. So it looks nice and finished. So obviously you can make your shelf whatever depth you want. We've chose to go with 18 inch shelves. Now that's more than normal, Probably 12 inch would probably be enough, maybe 15, but we went with 18 because after we're said and done, we want our shelf to be 19 and a half inches deep completely so that it takes up that whole space that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So we've got our two uh, strips that we've tied together to make into one board running across and we've got our 18 inch boards like this and we're just gonna use one and a half inch screws and we're gonna screw all these in just like we did with the rest of them. And that'll finish up our shelves. We're gonna get busy putting this two before on there and do the same thing as far as measuring. We measured down the, the space that we wanted on our two by four, screwed them in, went to the other side, did the same thing, measured it off, screwed it in. And then we're doing the same thing up here, getting the same measurements so that our shelves are nice and level. And then of course, when we're done, we're gonna come back and put some strips on the front to make it look finished and neat so that you don't see all these little cracks and crevices going on. Uh, we're not worried about um, anything like any imperfections because it's actually kind of what we're shooting for is an imperfect uh, shelf. So, so busy screwing these in, finish it up. So now we've moved our shelf inside because it's a heavy shelf. And before we go putting anything else on it, we're gonna go ahead and move it inside. So now what we're doing, is we're putting our one by fours and we're mixing in some one by sixes up here. So six, four, six, four, six, and we're just right taking down. And we're just using bread nails for that. We're putting it in there, lining it up on both sides, like so, and shoot me in. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And then we're gonna use pieces that are in the floor here. Uh, that we've already cut for our back and we're going to use brad nails to put those in the back and once we do that we uh pretty much in business okay so here's the shell it's not complete yet though because we still got to put these fronts on to cover this up but you can kind of see what we got it fits in our spot we've already checked it fits in our spot really well and you can see we use the brad nails to put in the sides and around the back what we've done is we've put staggered some one by sixes and one by fours around the back to cover up the back. Uh, and of course on the front side that looks good because it gives it that kind of rustic. Uh, as you can see. So it kind of matches it. And uh, so now the only thing we have left to do is put our fronts on and 
decide whether we're going to paint it, stain it, or leave it. But we took, uh, to make our finishing touch, we just took a one by six, cut it in half, uh, and we just used a regular old skill saw to do that. You may have a nice table saw that you can do it with, but we did it with this because we don't have a table saw. So we cut it in half, and then we're taking these, after we sand them down, and we're putting them lengthwise up and down, up like that on our shelves so that you know it hides any gaps or anything like that and then we've cut these smaller ones uh, to go on the front of each of the shelves and have just about a half inch of a hang uh, that hangs below the shelf and so and of course we've sanded these down as well and we're going to put them on brad nail them in and we're going to be done all right so we have our trim pieces on as you can see and meets and connects over here so it gives a more finished look you can see our old shelf here before you know what it looked like with the cracks and we've got ours placed here and here and uh, obviously we've got to sand it down and cut to fit to go right in there and then we're just going to pop some brad nails in and finish them off so voila there it is and uh, pretty happy with it. It is definitely very heavy and it is not going anywhere at all. Now, the question is, paint it or paint it? Probably gonna paint, but we'll see. What do you think? Either way, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.